Is the one thing between you and the perfect backyard wood fire pizza getting that pizza to launch properly into your oven without wrinkling all over itself or dumping half the toppings on the bottom of the oven or getting stuck up against the side? This video is for you. Today, we're gonna to be using the Bighorn oven and operating it effortlessly using the fan trick. Be sure to check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. It'll really make things a lot easier for you guys. You might burn a couple more pellets, but the oven's gonna say super hot. It's not gonna go out. You're not gonna get all smoked out and stuff. So make sure you check out that video. It's just about preheated. We got flames out the top. We're gonna get this demonstration started. For pellets today, we're using the Traeger Mystique hardwood pellets. You know, if you watch my videos, these aren't my favorite pellets. I prefer the Pit Bosses, but I had some Giacomo steel 40 pounds of pellets off my porch yesterday that got delivered from Amazon. These are $30 at the local hardware store on Amazon. I'm copping those pit bosses for $11.99 a bag. Check out the link in the description below if you want to get you some affordable pellets. I like to take my pellets out of the bag and put them into a nice little Lexan container like this. That way I can scoop them easy and not be fighting the bag. And like I've been saying for pretty much years now, you want to make sure you have all of your ingredients laid out and ready to go because the cook time is so fast. Trick is simply using the right peel. You got metal peels and you got wooden peels. They both serve a purpose in your pizza game. This one launches, this one recovers. Today I got three different wooden peels. We're gonna use them all and you can decide which one you want to get. So aside from getting our peel game straight, we're gonna need a dry lubricant to get that dough sliding. We pretty much got two options. We got cornmeal, which is really user beginner friendly. I prefer good old fashioned semolina. It's gonna give a real nice crispy texture without burning to the bottom of the pizza oven. Put a nice little dusting on there and these things are gonna slide off like hovercrafts. The first peel that we're looking at today is from the Home Favor GA store on Amazon. It's about 16 bucks, but you get two of these. It's made out of a pine ply. It's got a real kind of dry finish and that's what makes wood so nice for launching these pizzas. That semolina gets on them and it just slides right off. The metal one, that condensation will build up and your pizza will end up sticking to it. This is a nice beveled edge and I have both launched and recovered with this. It comes in a two pack, so you got two. So if you get one wet, you got a backup or if you're just starting off and you don't have a metal one for recovering, you buy this and you can dedicate one to launching and one recovering. The only thing is it isn't finished and it is like a ply material. So I wouldn't be putting this in the dishwasher and I'm not sure exactly how long it'll hang, but 16 bucks for two, it's a good value. Let's see what it did. Next up from the Detoa store, we have their premium product, a little bit more premium than the other one, I guess, because it's not ply. It's solid pine construction, unfinished, smells kind of like a pine nut. It's very dry. Um, being unfinished, I do notice a little bit of sticking on this if you get some moisture on it. It's got a cute little rope you can tie on there for all your IG pictures, and it comes in a little bit over $15. One thing to note on this one is it's not quite 12 inches, it's only 11, so you're not gonna be putting some true 12 inch pies into the oven. Let's see what this baby do.
Today we're sipping on Tricera Ox by Iron Ox Brewing in Santa Rosa, California. Nice West Coast IPA, 6.9% ABV. Pretty solid little bitter background, but also a very hoppy floral. So not like a heartburn city, not quite a hazy, pretty damn good. Asked from the LX Lermex store, we got the premium bamboo pizza peel. It's got the nice bevel on it, it's round, it's heavy, it has an oiled finish, which I like because if you do get it a little bit wet, you can dry it off and it's not gonna absorb into the wood as much. So you still retain those easy release properties, even if you get a little bit sloppy on the track. Let's see what it do. Another thing that's a must have for making pizzas in your backyard is some sort of flat surface you can sanitize or at least get somewhat clean. I like using a large cutting board. I've used plastic ones in the past. But kind of keep into that wood theme. I got me a little bamboo one right here just to kind of form your dough balls, get them in the general shape and then throw them onto these wooden ones. And then of course you always got your metal one to be turning the pizza that's working or you got a buddy with you, he can be pulling them out while you're launching them. Speaking of working the dough balls, I know y'all probably saw those balls singing, damn Jason, what the hell are those? It's an experimental dough. It's a little sourdough recipe I'm kind of working on and they proofed up kind of puffy and sloppy, but you know what guys, it's just pizza. It's gonna taste good. The only way you can really screw the dough up is if you stretch it out too thin, get a little hole, some of that sauce leaks down, cooks on the oven, and then it's a sloppy mess from there. So if that happens, give a little pinch on that dough, you'll be able to get it back together. Just don't over sauce it. One of the things that I do is I got that sauce in a bag. You saw that trick. I actually buy my sauce in bulk. I got another video all about how to save money making pizzas. I take it out of that number 10 can, break it into some little sandwich bags, freeze them. When I'm ready to make pies, cut the end off, skeet it around, hit it with a brush, make it nice and even. The cheese is a five cheese blend. It's kind of like the optimal blend that I found for flavor and melting. It's two parts of low moisture whole milk mozzarella cheese and one part of this four cheese blend. Like I said, it's in that same video where I buy the sauce. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. Which one of these is my favorite? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, just like everything, it's not as easy as that. I kind of like them all. I will say I do like the first one that comes in the two pack because you can launch and recover with it. So if you're just starting off or on a budget, I say get that one. Use one for recovering one for launching and you'll hit the ground running for like under 15 bucks. But my favorite is the bamboo finished one. The last one, the most expensive one, of course. I'm a long time in the pizza game. Y'all know that. Y'all wanna learn how to make some badass pies in your backyard? Smash that subscribe button, like the videos, comment. Let me know what you wanna learn how to make in your oven. I'll see you next time. Peace.